Greetings. Today we're going to talk about the grammar of family. These are some structures and techniques and grammar that you can use in ASL that can really apply to a lot of things but are very useful when talking about family. So I'm going to start with some examples. Watch while I sign. The first example I gave you there was Jackie, the girl in the green shirt, and it was really straightforward. She has one sister, and I just signed it in that straightforward kind of manner. But when I introduced you to little Yoko, I wanted to emphasize the fact that she was an only child. So I said she has no brothers and no sisters. And if you watch how I did that, you'll notice I kind of shifted my shoulders when I talked about brothers, and then I shifted my shoulders again when I talked about her not having any sisters. And then I came back into the middle to say, she's an only child. That's what we call contrastive structure. It's a non-manual signal used to describe how two things are different. Now in these examples, I talked about siblings, but you can do it for all sorts of things. And what you do is you're gonna shift your shoulders to your weak side to describe one thing, and then kind of shift to your dominant side to describe the other. Now, watch this other example I gave you of the little boy with the, from the big family. So I said, the little boy, and then I pointed to him, brothers have three on my weak side, sisters have two on my dominant side. I know you don't see it very often, but we do have a textbook, and I want to show you their explanation of these grammar techniques in this clip. Suppose I'm telling a story about different things and people. It can get confusing pretty quickly because everything starts to look the same. So in order to avoid that, you're going to use a shoulder shift for one group of information over here, one in the middle, and one to the right. For example, address numbers. Here's the first address. There's the second address, and I'm going to shift to give the third address. Don't forget to use your eyes. You need to look in the direction that you're turning. Now, watch these examples to see what to do and how to use a shoulder shift. Now we're going to see some examples about ranking. Now uh, that's about listing things in a particular order, like first, second, third. Again, I'm using this with children in a family, but you can use it to list or rank all kinds of things. It doesn't have to only be children. Now, ranking in ASL works a lot like a bulleted list word in a Word document. You're going to show the number of objects on your weak hand. Watch as I sign about um, those three sisters again. And notice when I sign three, I do it on my left hand instead of on my right hand. And the advantage of this is that way I can do all that signing and finger spelling on my dominant hand and I can leave my weak hand there to keep track of the number. And what's also handy about that, I introduced you to those three girls and told you their names, but if I wanted to go back and tell you how old they are or what their favorite color was or something, I don't have to spell their names again because I've already established which girl belongs to which finger. So I could point to my thumb and tell you Lori's favorite color is blue. I can point to my index finger and tell you Lisa's favorite color is pink. And I can point to my third finger and tell you Lacey's 
favorite color is yellow. But I don't have to spell their names again because I've already established Dykes' instead of around my, the room, instead of space around me, it's now on my fingers where each of those girls is. As I mentioned previously, you can use this technique to list or rank things with all sorts of objects. It doesn't have to just be children in a family. Um, I would probably only use this for two or more siblings. One textbook says there has to be three things on your list for it to work. The other textbook gives an example where there's only two things. So either one is fine. If you have more than five siblings, right, and you're running out of fingers, then you can use last or sixth or start using ordinal numbers. And we'll talk about those shortly. But you can just, once you've run out of fingers, you can keep going to talk about the rest of your family. All right, now I'm going to show you a picture of uh, some siblings. They are grown adults. Um, they, have, they are showing numbers on their hands. They're just showing you their birth order, who was first, second, third. So I want you to take a minute and practice with this picture and see if you can correctly rank these five grown children. Now, I'm about to show you the answer, so if you're not ready, pause the tape, and then you can watch me sign it. And here it is. See, I'm a weak hand. I gave you information about their gender and then what their names are. And notice, I kept that five on my left hand the whole time. Here's Rita again with another clip from your textbook. A lot of ASL students ask me about the sign for the word and. Let me explain, and is not part of ASL. So instead, you're going to use listing and ranking. So for example, I have three children. I'm going to put my left hand up and then I'm going to spell their, point to the first one and say flow, point to the second one and say Sally, and then point to the third and spell Frank. So watch some more examples. Now, a word of warning, it's easy to get confused. You need to keep that weak hand there. For example, I have two pets, and I'm going to leave that left hand there, and I'm going to point to the first one and spell their name, and point to the second one and spell their name. Don't do this. Don't do that. So now watch these two examples. One is correct, and one is wrong. Oh, see that shoulder shift she did there? All right, I hope you feel more comfortable now with how to talk about families in general and your family in particular. If you have a unique situation or you're not sure how to do this, uh, we will definitely practice some more and I would highly encourage you to come talk to me and I can show you how to handle this. So uh, thank you for your attention and happy signing.